The Roland Juno 106 synthesizer and TR707 drum machine, both from 1984, have long since established themselves as classics in their own right. But you might not know that they were once budded up together in another Roland creation, the MKS-7 or Super Quartet in 1985. The Super Quartet is so named because it is a multi-timbral MIDI unit that contains, well, a quartet of independent sounds. There's the rhythm section, which contains drum samples, a simple monophonic bass section, a four-voice polysynth called chord, And finally, a duophonic lead synthesizer called Melody. As the voice split is 1 plus 4 plus 2, this is where the 7 in MKS7 comes from. The drum samples in the rhythm section are the very same that were used in the TR707, minus the cowbell, tambourine and second snare. And the four voices of the chord section and two voices of the melody section are the six voices of a Juno 106. In fact, they can be switched into whole mode and combined into a six voice synthesizer rather than being split into four plus two if you so desire. The only difference to the 106 is that only the two melody voices have a noise generator available. Interestingly, both the filter and VCA of all of the voices are velocity sensitive and there's even a broad dynamic control on the front panel. The bass voice is a little simpler, but is a welcome band member. In basic terms, the MKS7 works as a preset unit. There's 20 preset bass sounds to choose from. Here's four of those. And then 100 chord presets. Here's four of those. And finally, 100 melody presets. Here's four of those. Now these sounds can be edited from the front panel in engineering mode, although this is a little fiddly to do, and worse still, you can't save any changes. 
Ugh. However, the Super Quartet can be controlled by external hardware and or software, and you can store and recall your SysX settings. First up, let's try the MKS7 in its pure form. Now that is offensively 80s, which is obviously fantastic if you're a synthwave fan or Espen Craft. He's not wrong. In fact, reading back about the Super Quartet, its intended market wasn't really studios. It was a domestic product and part of the range of equipment Roland made for the karaoke market much like the RE5 Digital Space Echo I've already featured on this channel. So you'd load up your MIDI file, grab your mic, and... This sounds suspiciously like a song you heard in the 80s Whilst there's a lot of fun to be had loading up the presets and pretending it's 1985, I wanted to see what we could achieve with the MKS7 by manipulating its parameters with a hardware controller and processing its sounds with effects. So I'm going to attempt to think outside the box whilst using the band in a box. Thanks for watching. That's all folks, bye bye.